Uh, hi, I'm Seth Andrew Bridges. I'm an ASF acting intern, uh, and I play uh, actor number four in Tom Sawyer, which consists of Moff Potter, uh, the widow Douglas's brother, and a child. And I'm also the fight choreographer for the show. So being the fight choreographer means that um, I'm basically in charge of staging all of the fight scenes in any sort of type of physical or violent um, sequence in the show. And there, there are, spoiler alert, there are a couple um, that, uh, that take place. Um, so basically, I, I come up with the choreography, I come up with what the moves will be, um, and I, that's sort of through, through talking with the director um, in terms of what she's looking for and what the story um, of the fight needs to be. And then I go away and I come up with um, a sequence of, of moves and come in and teach it to the actors and then we rehearse it a bunch, make sure it's safe, make sure it looks realistic, but that no one's in any actual danger. Um, and then we uh, plug it into the show and uh, uh, it uh, should fit seamlessly into, into the play. And it's also a little tricky because I happen to be one of the people in the fight. So that's been sort of a, a fun adventure of uh, choreographing not only the other people in it, but myself as well. So a lot of uh, videotaping and going back and looking at it. Um, and I have a fight captain in the room who's um, sort of my second set of eyes and uh, who stands in for me pretty frequently while I look at what the rest of the, the fight scene um, looks like. So I also uh, I play Muff Potter. He's sort of my, my primary character, aside from the other smaller two that I play. Um, and he's sort of this odd, this interesting uh, guy. He ends up being, on a level, the moral center of the show. He gets framed for murder um, and is convinced that he committed a murder. Um, and Tom and Huck know the truth and are sort of put in a very tricky situation about whether or not to come forward, because if they do, then they run the risk of uh, um, getting in trouble with the guy who actually committed the murder. Um, and so it puts them in a really um, hard situation that and forces them to grow um, quite a bit. Uh, and my question for you guys is, have you ever been in a situation where you've had to do the right thing, even though the right thing was something really difficult, or that potentially um, would get you into a fair amount of trouble. So I look forward to hearing your thoughts on that.